What does the world's most exciting Honda CRV look like? Perform like? How do we really make hybrid fun? Really fun? We decided to create something wild, something completely from the ground up, something so cool it would shock and surprise people. It can show what Honda can do when there's no rule book. The Honda CRV Hybrid Racer is a rolling laboratory for Honda performance development, a test bed conceived and built completely in-house by Honda designers and engineers for the continued development of electrification, hybrid electric technology and 100% renewable fuels. This project is also about fun, the fun of imagining what if, taking on the challenge and learning along the way and ultimately sharing that fun with our customers. During the development, we nicknamed it the Beast because the Honda CRV Hybrid Racer is a fun engineering project that showcases the extreme power and performance capability of electrified powertrains. And it is a combination of a CRV hybrid production car that underneath it all is an IndyCar powertrain with a new hybrid system. It was conceived and designed by the engineers at Honda Performance Development in California and the designers from the Automotive Design Division of American Honda. Then we built it at the Honda Automotive Development Center in Ohio by Honda of America Racing Team. The CRV Hybrid Racer treats race fans and enthusiasts to a sneak preview of similar hybrid power unit technology that will officially debut in the NTT IndyCar Series in 2024. We wanted to focus our efforts on the new hybrid technology being used in this car, so we took a lot of the pieces for it from other projects that HBD has done. So trying to integrate all of them and getting them to work together, taking the engine, the transmission, the rear suspension from an Indy car, along with front suspension and steering from an NSX GT3 was quite a challenge. We really wanted the car to use the IndyCar powertrain, basically as, as it is in, in an IndyCar race that you can go to on, on any given weekend. Um, but look, rec clearly recognizable as a CRV, although a really wild CRV. So we drew inspiration from the DTM cars or the Group B cars in the 80s or 90s that were wild interpretations of the road going versions of those cars. We wanted it to be clearly recognizable as a CRV hybrid racer. For the exterior design of the wrap, I wanted to design something really eye-catching, but I wanted to not cover up the interesting carbon fiber details. We wanted to highlight the dual drivetrain. So the design has a gradation going uh, from front to back, and it's Honda Hybrid Blue in the front and Honda Racing Red in the rear. Working with HPD, they also wanted to bring a lot of their own ideas to the table. So we collaborated and we incorporated a lot of Easter eggs into the design. Um, one of the main ones is having an image of the Indy car engine on the top of the vehicle, which is really cool. When the rear hatch opens up, you can actually see an image of the engine as well as look into the car and see the engine itself. And then we also scattered uh, images of the Honda sponsored Indy car circuits all throughout the car as little Easter eggs. Honda of America Race Team, or what we call HART, um, it's an all volunteer associate team that we have here for the members of HDMA, um, Honda Development and Manufacturing of America. This race team is super unique because it is all volunteer based. Uh, nobody's paid to be on the team. Any time that they're spending working on HART is done uh, late at night uh, after core business hours or during the weekends. Uh, we had several members from the HART team come together and spend a lot of their weekends, uh, their late nights, helping to get this car put together. And really it started from just a, a small roll cage that held the humans inside of the beast. Uh, that was the one part that was delivered to us, but after that uh, we supported the HP members to build up the rest of the vehicle from the ground up. I have a passion for kind of learning new skills and being part of, you know, very unique projects like this. In my day job, I'm a steering system test engineer. Um, this project gave me the opportunity to kind of expand my horizons and grow in different areas such as 3D modeling and part design. 
I knew this project was really going to happen when HPD said that they were going to send us an IndyCar engine. That was a really cool moment, and uh, we've kind of always wanted to be part of an IndyCar-based project. One of our big issues was the rear pivoting uh, portion of the body, the clamshell, and how it's attached to the tube chassis itself. That's real CRV bodywork, so sheet metal, uh, pillars, all of that. That uniqueness of having those CRV parts actually created a lot of the difficulty because it's really, really hard then to make it look correct and create all those brackets to hold that frame on top of the roll cage. In the original design, that large rear uh, pivoting frame section was supposed to hinge at the, the front upper edge. We ended up coming up with a reverse design that pivots from the lower rear section. The hardest part was just getting all the components to work together. Not easy when you're using an engine, transmission, rear suspension from an Indy car, and the front suspension and steering from an NSX GT3. The radiator is from the Dallara IR18 Indy car which is mounted up front. For the right stance, it's Firestone Firehawk Indy 500 ultra high performance summer tires are on custom 20 inch wheels. Since it weighs about twice as much as an Indy car, we had to get the brakes right. So we worked closely with Brembo. The fronts are from the NSX GT3 and the rears are custom. The hybrid electric system functions similarly to IndyCar's current push-to-pass system, although instead of additional boost from the turbos, the hybrid electric system adds the extra power. When I see the hybrid racer driving around on the track, there was a lot of pride that I felt that, you know, we have all, we have all been part of it. You know, it was a lot of collaboration, a lot of late nights, and to see that kind of culminate in this very unique car kind of racing around and it sounded so awesome. It'll launch completely electric and there's virtually no sound or that slight whining sound and then all of a sudden it erupts. It's incredibly loud and all that power and then on top of that, you see this CRV body shape running around the track, and it sounds like an Indy car, or it sounds like a super advanced Indy car. It's just this crazy uh, cognitive dissonance where you, you see something, or you hear something, and it's like it's all completely new. And so it's a pretty awe-inspiring experience to see it. The Beast is built to thrill the passenger. It's a two-seater. We're giving fans track rides at many of the Indy car events this season, so people can experience what a real race car feels like, so they can get a taste of that incredible speed and performance. It's a pretty intense experience. There are always big smiles, big smiles. As a one-off special project, the CRV Hybrid Racer has been a real passion project for our HVD team and everyone else at Honda involved with its design, engineering and construction. It is our rolling laboratory to investigate where the talented men and women of HVD and Honda can go with electrification hybrid technology and 100% renewable fuels. What we learn from this project will benefit all of Honda's electrified racing, strengthening the connection between HVD, the NTT IndyCar series and Honda passenger vehicles. It is also a heck of a lot of fun. The Beast epitomizes Honda's fun to drive ethos, showcases electrification, and just rocks our car culture roots and racing heritage.